guys welcome back to my youtube channel or if you're new hello my name is donna very nice to meet you thank you for tuning in um here we have my typo mystery box so this is from the website cotton on i've got two in here so i've been watching a lot of these on youtube and the majority of them have been pretty damn good now i've ordered two i've gone for a 10 pound one and a 15 pound one um, I think the £10 one was six items and I think the £15 one was ten items, I think. I can't remember what... I know one of them was a gaming one, I think. Um, but I can't remember what the other one was. I ordered them so long ago, so I'm just going to cut into it. But, saying that, I've watched so many of these typo mystery boxes on YouTube... And the majority of them have been really, really good. So I just thought, do you know what? I'm going to do two. I'm going to do two different sizes. I'm going to do a £10 one and a £15 one. And just have a look. Um, and not just that. Um, these sort of mystery boxes are so hard to come by nowadays. And I love a good mystery. Um, but it's like, they're so... You can't even find them on eBay really now. Um, eBay don't like you selling them. So, it just says here on the inside of my box. Hey UK, we're here, your new destination for everyday style inspo. It's laid back, it's made to be lived in, cotton on. Um, so, yeah, so this is the box. So, like I said, uh, when you buy their mystery boxes, they all come in one box. Um, so you, you sort of got to try and work out, well, you don't have to, it doesn't bother me. Um, but I can't say this came from one box, this came from the other mystery box because they do box it all in together. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, no, I'm going to leave this on to make it that bit more of a surprise. I can see something peeking out there and I'm going to put my hand in and I'm going to pull something out. So bear in mind, I spent £25 um can't remember what the postage was no i don't know if it was 3.95 um so the most i spent was just under 30 quid so i just want to see if i've got my money's worth let's have a look and with christmas coming up i'm hoping i can find people to give some of this to for christmas um to give me that little bit of inspiration because there's always so many people i just don't know what to buy for and then you get things like this and you think wow so and so would love that so and so would love that uh and it it does help so put the hand in and the first thing is a sticky note set um so let's just have a little look see um so it is just like this now my daughter would probably use this for school saying that um for all our workbooks and it's just a different size sticky notes a little list on that note to self and then some more sticky labels so yeah that would probably come in handy for my daughter for school um so put that one back in the bag oh my lord sorry so first item i'm gonna get rid of this one get this out of the way uh well this is in a little bag so i'm gonna take it out of the bag and take out your stress on me oh i didn't look at the prices this little thing should have been six pounds don't know if that's going to pick it up. No. Six pound, anyway. And this little dude was three pound fifty. So I am going to take this little dude out because I really want to have a look at this little guy. Um, I think, again, my daughter would like this one. So, that's it. look now i'm not going to mush him up too much because um i won't be able to get him back in the box 
but he is cute he is really soft and he's one of those ones i reckon you could stretch out um it's gonna be very pliable so um yeah he is cute and there is definitely if not my daughter there's a couple people that i could give that to for christmas so see what i mean it does help you um you know if you're stuck for people um so yeah cute like that so that was three pound fifty uh where am i at oh there's a book so i'm gonna put these there oh i've got two oops so notebooks So I've seen these a lot on the channels and they've got little pockets here um, and you get a few of those little black bits. And again, there. So if you've got any notes or anything um, that need to be kept, they can go in these little pockets, these little envelopes. Um, so this little book should have been, again, £3.50. And then we've got the Notorious B.I.G. This one's got a little binder. And this is just... Oh, again, it's got one of these in it, so you can still store little bits in there. And then it's got just lots of lined paper. Again, this one, oh no, this one's £2.50. So that's £2.50. I do like this one though. This one's massive. This one's got, a, you know, a lot of paper in that one. And then like a few different of the black pieces um, for storing bits in. So, yeah. Plastic, a little micro light box, perfect for gentle reminders. Um, so yeah, it's just one of those little boxes that lights up, and then you get all the letters on the back, so you can put whatever little message you like on it. Um, that one should have been six pound. So we've got that. Nothing's jumping at me just yet. Oh, does it say on there what I ordered? No. Another book, I think. Uh, Buffalo Journal. This should have been £6. Perfect for note-taking, especially when all you do is write in the lines. So it's got a little binder again. Oh, it's quite a smart little one, look. So, yeah, it's not a bad book. Um, £6 for that one. I am just going to take it out because... Right. A little keyring. Just says typo on the back and it is just a smiley face. So one of these and this one was a £3.50. Now, I'm sorry, I wouldn't pay £3.50 for that, but it is cute. So we've got that. Hey, Rubik's Cube. See, I know somebody would like this. This should have been £12 on its own. And it is just, it's all in um, really nice pastel colours. So it's just, it is a Rubik's Cube, nothing uh, different except the colours. So instead of being these sort of colours, it is all pastels. So that's quite sweet, yeah. And um, it comes with its own little stand by the looks of it. So that's quite cool. And yeah, I think I've got somebody in mind for this one too. So we're doing good. Right, a um, 100 piece shaped puzzle. Oh my God, that's quite cute. I might have to have a go at that one. It's only 100 pieces. Um, and that is supposed to be £6. So we just got one of them. So, yeah, one of them. Now, what are you? We have a funky pen. Uh, this should... No way. This should have been £6. Oh, I think it does something. Let's just have a quick look at it. Have a quick gander. Right, it's got a little button here. 
So this is a pen. Whoa! Cool, cool, cool. Six pound for that. Here's a cute little novelty thing. Yeah, so got a pen. And then what have we got here? Here for it. And it is a massive bottle opener, I think. Yeah. Bar blade bottle opener. Here for it. £3.50. So, yeah, we've got a bottle opener. That can go in my utensil drawer downstairs. Um, yeah, it's quite smart. I do love the rainbow pattern on it. We've got one of them. And then we've got some notorious B.I.G. stickers. These should have been £2. Um, oh, I've got another pen. Uh, this one was £3.50 and it is drop forged steel six inches and it's um it's obviously just a pretend one because it is a pen on the end so how much did i say this one was three pound fifty this one was so got one of them i was hoping i wouldn't get one of these because i've seen a lot of people with these and i'm like what the hell am i gonna do with that um, that is going to have to be a Christmas present for somebody. Damn it. Where's autocorrect when you need it is what it says on the front. Um, this was £6. Um, and it's got the rubber on the end, a real rubber. Let's have a look at the size of the lead. Wow. No, it obviously can't be sharpened, but it has actually got real lead, so you can actually write with it. And then, obviously, the rubber on the end. So, yeah. There's that. And then we've got, what are you, dual end markers, pack of six, brush and felt tip ends. So, they'll probably come in handy for somebody. These should have been £6 as well. We've got those oh these are nice pastel gel pen pack pack of seven and these should have been six pound as well so packet of gel pens these are always handy to have i like these and then we've got a little spin out pencil case so yeah i quite like that too to be honest with you it's a little bit retro looking. And how much would you have been? I get £6. But isn't that quite retro looking? Because of the pattern. And then last but not least. Now what I was hoping I would get was one of their cushions. A lot of their boxes I've seen being opened. They've had really funky cushions in. I didn't get a cushion. I got another puzzle. Now, this one was £12, and it is a thousand-piece puzzle, fun and challenging puzzle for everyone. And it is just an old stereo. Um, get your brain focused and keep yourself occupied with our thousand-piece puzzle. This will surely keep you busy. Then watch yourself beam with pride when the puzzle is complete. Available in a range of designs. And yeah, this one was £12. Now, I would have much preferred it if it was in colour, but it's not. It's in black and white. Um, and I suppose that's because everything was black and white back in the day when these sort of stereos were used, maybe. Um, but yeah, still makes a nice gift. It's got a little handle. Um, so yeah, I'll either do that one myself or find someone to give it to. But that is everything out of my box. Um... I spent £25. Do I think I've got £25 worth back? Uh, definitely. Because don't forget, I've got two puzzles. I've got the Rubik's Cube, pencil cases, pens, loads of notebooks.
books, the squishy thing. So I've got quite a lot of stuff in there. And there's definitely some bits that I can give to people for Christmas as well. So that will also help me out. So this hasn't been a complete waste. Um, well, it's not been a waste. Whatever I don't find to give to people, I'll keep. Um, yeah. Would I do another one? I think I would probably do another one. Maybe uh, one more just to see if it changed. Because um, a lot of the stuff does tend to be very similar. Um but yeah, no, I'm happy. I definitely think I've got my money's worth. So um, yeah, all's good. Um, thank you very much for watching. That is the end of this video. Um, if you're interested and you want to get one of these, then just type in typo, T-Y-P-O, on um, the old internet. And it will come up. It is on the Cotton On website. Um, just type in mystery boxes in the search box and they will come up. And like I say, there's a, a range of different price ones and they do different style ones um so yeah i haven't been on there for a while so i don't know what i'm assuming they still do them like i say i haven't been on there for a while um so yeah so that's the end of this one thank you very much for watching and i will see you very good um, i will see you very soon for another one uh just before i go if you like this video and you're not a subscriber then please do subscribe um and please also hit that note uh that like button down below just so i know that people like my content um and uh yeah make me very happy see you again soon guys bye